All right, last night we told you how Iceland's unique family tree helped make uh, that have turned that country into a hub for genetics research. And tonight, Meg Terrell explains how the technology behind that research is being used around the world. Tourism is up in Iceland, but the Nordic island nation is also becoming known for genetics research, a model now emulated worldwide. Icelander Kari Steffensen founded Decode Genetics, a company taking advantage of the country's ideal conditions for genetic research, a population largely descended from common ancestors, comprehensive and ancient genealogy records, and a strong health system. Genetics is the discipline that studies the information that goes into making a man and how that flows from one generation to the next. And the genealogy gives you the avenue by which the information is passed on. And it's obvious that it gives you an advantage as a geneticist to have the, have the genealogy. And we have taken enormous advantage of that over the years. 20 years after Decode was founded here, it's exporting the underlying technology to the rest of the world. Decode spin-out Wuji Nextcode provides the technology to power large genomics projects. The big project here in Iceland, of course, was uh, one of the first and still is the, the leading population project on the planet. So many of the uh, tools and, and methods that were discovered here um, are directly applicable to other projects of similar scale in, in other parts of the world. Projects including one in the United States, former President Barack Obama's Precision Medicine Initiative. We are anxious to move as quickly as possible away from a one-size-fits-all approach. Uh, to how to keep people healthy or how to manage chronic illness into something that's much more individualized. Clues in genetics can provide leads for better treatment. Two medicines recently approved to treat high cholesterol, for instance, are based on the discovery of a naturally occurring genetic mutation. The U.S. program called All of Us aims to combine genetic data from at least a million Americans with electronic medical records and information from surveys and wearable sensors, according to Dr. Francis Collins, director of the National Institutes of Health. The U.S. project is one of many going on worldwide, from the U.K. to Singapore to Qatar. And there are at least 50 programs that are enrolling at least 100,000 people in various countries uh, around the world. And one of the goals we now have is to be sure that we all learn from each other and make the most of that kind of a global network. Drug companies like Amgen, which owns Iceland's Decode, AbbVie and Regeneron, are all leveraging genetic insights to improve drug development. From data on huge numbers of people, researchers aim to develop medicines that are more personalized than ever before. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell in Reykjavik.